Question 5. The pictogram shows the number of tins of dog food sold in a shop on Monday, on Tuesday and on Wednesday last week. Uh, the key shows us that a full circle represents 10 tins. So we can look at this and before even asking ourselves what does the question want to know, we can just try and work out how many tins are represented in this diagram. So if I look at the first one, Monday, we've got three circles. So each of these is 10, so that's 10, 20, and 30. So I'll just jot down that that means 30 on Monday, because this might help us later on. On Tuesday, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, and a half circle. Now half of 10 is 5, so that means on Tuesday we have 45 tins. On Wednesday, we have 10, 20, Five, so that's 25 tins on Wednesday. So the question tells us on Thursday 60 tins of dog food were sold in the shop. On Friday 35 tins of dog food were sold in the shop. So in part A use this information to complete the pictogram. If each circle is going to represent 10 and we want 60 on Thursday then we can just keep drawing circles until we hit 60. So that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. Friday wanted 35. Now we've already shown that half a circle equals 5. So we have one circle, that's 10, 20, 30 and then a half circle as best as you can represent it so it looks a little different from the others to represent 35 and that's two marks now more tins of dog food were sold on Tuesday than on Monday so looking at the graph we can see that the graph comes out a little bit further on Tuesday than Monday so how many more tins well we've already worked out how many there are on Monday and Tuesday so the difference between these two numbers is just 15 The question's worth two marks though. Now you will probably get a mark if you can write down the difference here, like the number 45 and 30. So we could have written down 45 take away 30 equals 15, just to show that these are the numbers we'd used. Or we could also have pointed out that this was the difference here. I put in a box around it showing that that's 15 that's where our numbers come from.